And if you look at this durability, uh, Azure storage durability, then we can see that uh, in, like, uh, Azure is storing our data in uh, two ways. One is like NRS, one is GRS. The first one, NRS is, okay. The first one, NRS is local redundancy uh, like storage. GRS is geo redundant storage. And RAGRS is a different type of model. Where NRS, when we are storing a data in, uh, in our Azure storage, it is actually uh, making a repl replication of that uh, data in one region. So, uh, like there is like we are getting uh, like so our data is protected against this known as rack failures. Our data is uh, like uh, like uh, uh, is superior to uh, dual party rate, and at the same time, if something is happening, if if any like digital recovery, like there are facilities for digital recovery or anything is happening, any like data loss or anything, there our data is. Uh, replicated in other options of that region as well, so that we can easily recover those data and use it in our system. And if something happens, if a, a, like uh, if any nature uh, like uh, like disasters happen, then we can go with GRS, which is like geo redundant uh, storage, where uh, our uh, like in, in region one, which is our current region, our data is replicated in three uh, three eight, like three different racks or three three different disks. Uh, but uh, like in uh, if we go with GRS. Then, uh, like 100 miles away from our current region, there's in another region we are also like keeping our data on three different uh, like uh, disks as well. Where if something happened, it, it, like it could be like flood or like uh, earthquake happened in in region one, then we can get those data and recover those data from region two. And uh, in region two, it is also like uh, like secured and protected, uh, like and uh, it protects against major regional disasters. And uh, that uh, all those data are like asynchronous to secondary, and for for secondary, which is like RA and GRS, we can re read the data like within few minutes if something happened, if say, any like natural disaster happened, uh, like uh, in, a in asynchronously that data we can uh, read those data in one in few minutes and uh, use it in our system uh, like uh, to run it, run it. So. Our Azure storage is strongly consistent. It is a, it has like checksum or CRS and background scrubbing to preserve data integrity options. So now, uh, uh, like uh, Deepak will talk about Azure Blob Storage, which is unstructured data that I have already told. So now it's your turn. Thank you, uh, thanks everybody. Yeah. So as we find out, uh, Blob Storage is nothing to store unstructured data. Prior to that, we talk about data warehouse last time we talked about machine learning and this time we last time we got the feedback about some storage for unstructured storage so that's what we we are um, talking about blob storage so for us the fundamental role for any enterprise is the storage availability taking care of all that stuff disaster recovery how how much it is cost effective how we can manage that? So we are we are going to do that. So what is a blob storage service? It is service that store unstructured data. If we talk about unstructured data, and we think Deepak what does that count in our business? So it would be something like videos, images. In what client we were focusing to say some satellite putting the data image every time or some log files which are from say nuclear reactor having hundred or thousand of servers which are updating uh, some data. So that is about blob storage service, typically use case for web and mobile application data and it is big data from genomics. Uh, one For one human being, I think it's one million different record for that um, this is the best suited. So backup and archive. If we have to take backup, then uh, blob storage services for us. So key features. What are the key features for blob storage? Why we need blob storage? First of all, if we have to store data in high amount, say terabyte or so terabyte, thousand of terabyte, thousand million, one million gigs then in that case, blob storage is our business requirement. So whenever uh, we will discuss about one client case scenario where they use 
uh, one of the car company in states and Europe which is use this feature and how that change uh, change their business transform their business so it is for more more yeah more data I don't know why this is not happy post learn sometimes you know it happens it happens with me also so it's okay we are on same page okay durable as Rahat told like durability we need durable data whether it is on geographical different location as Mayur was talking about or local system then we need durability so that feature is available feature is available within fraction of seconds that is the beauty we don't have to do some customization we don't have to do some hardware procurement and everything is available you can automate it you have data say thousand terabytes you don't need to procure it you don't need to upgrade it by some hardware as per business re business requirement it would happen so that 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 is another benefit of uh, storage of cloud high availability yeah today topics are almost covering high availability and that is nowadays business requirement as Rahat told last week example Amazon because of some failure lost their one of the customer which we know probably a number of customers so nowadays we can't afford without say 99.9 percent .9 SLA and that's what um, Microsoft Azure service is saying till now not a single case reported where Azure security has compromised or reduced less than 99.9 percent .9 so that is another benefit strongly consistent as I told not a single case has been reported till now dynamically scale up on bandwidth and TPS we don't have to worry about scalability I remember uh, when I was doing development in earlier phase we had to talk think about okay how much data we required how much clients require the data it's in gigs or terabytes even we are not thinking at that point of time in terabytes but we are planning okay I need this server this would be the configuration this would be the you know security checks security compliance etc but nowadays if we talk about this data or this database scalability will happen as per business need we have to check it we have to use one one property and cost effectiveness here uh, I don't know a couple of uh, discussion uh, cost effectiveness is the point where different people have different opinion but I would say yeah if we if we explore or down the time and we hands on more we will found how much it cost effective on-prem versus the cloud but yeah as per as per Microsoft as per their data it is cost effective if I use a service for a two hours in a week I will charge for two hours not for 24 hours into seven so that is another benefit for cost effectiveness and that's why so blob storage why it is ideal for platform as a service why why we need it so if you talk about scalability that is the <coughs> No, business need nowadays we can't think about any scenario where say our client we are developing a business solution for Canada and tomorrow if uh, that client has more business in Europe so what would be the scenario the call would be from Europe to here at data center but scalability we can do that we can improve it we can have replica of our database at any geographical location that is the global accessibility cost efficiency yeah it is cost efficiency we don't have to take procure any server <coughs> on any point of time it's as per our business need if we need data in gigs I will be charged for gigs if I need data in terabyte I will charge for terabyte so scenario for application data live data repository active and deep 
archive and big data analytics. So let's look at our storage concept, how it's work. So I have some subscription. From that subscription, <coughs> I can carry on with this and meanwhile anyone of us go over there right Yeah. I back but it's good if we yeah if we convey to them right we are facing this problem. Not, it's not like, uh, we have DBA, we have application developer, we have, you know, but we, we need some system. <laughs> Just turn off the projector. Yeah. Turn off the projector, let it cool down. Yeah, it's been right. So turn it off. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's not. It's not the cable. It's the projector. It's overheating. I think probably it would be good because sit on me like that. If you face any problem, just focus over there. So I <laughs> I just I just, you know, follow her advice again. Yeah. Yeah then. No, so has some problem. It's blink and it's reset everything, right? Oops. Yeah, yeah, just turn it off and leave it off for like five minutes. Yeah. Leave it off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a give me a blue update on the Epson. Yeah, I think that that would be good, right? So, I promise uh, I will show uh, the demo on projector. I, I, this, this is not planned. <laughs> so, okay, we were we we talk about why and in which business scenario we require the cloud storage, tiered log storage. We'll talk about. Geography redundancy, why it's required. We talk about blob storage service, the fundamental, the how we can store data, what is the SLA. So, so Azure storage, if we talk about Azure storage, we have one subscription against one. I can use that word also. One subscription against one subscription. If I have some Azure subscription, anyone of us or uh, how many of us have Azure subscription? Yeah. So if 
If we don't have your subscription, please have. Hello. We turned it off. It's turned off.